Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a U.S. News Update. Some of the things we'll be covering. Gold is up. And what else is going on in the economy? Texas Monkey Lab. More information and even ties to Washington, D.C. Texas, a large thousands of individuals, cartel plus a camp near Houston, Texas. White lung, what's up with this? That recent uptick in pneumonia for children, I'll go over it with you. And January, we're still on track for some good things happening. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber. The Guardian article from about February of 2023, PETA's recent information. Valuetainment, that's a great podcast show out of Dallas, Texas. Joshua Phillip with Crossroads. Hal Turner Plus. I have a Patriot subscriber who says, Russia is not our enemy, it's our U.S. government. I agree. And uh, Israel, their government, and Palestine, what are they up to, taking out the Palestinian people? NATO is a terminal event based in Europe, you know, versus the people of the U.S. And all have false narratives. Uh, globalists have infiltrated our government. And there is a Marxist insurgent invasion of all nations. De who engage in deliberate depopulation, war, and medical fraud. Well said, Patriot subscriber. I have another Patriot subscriber who says, Your explanation of the extraterrestrial species is a good explanation uh, detailing e events and uh, evidences of God's consciousness. You are like me. You like to learn something every day. Great show. Thanks. I have a Patriot subscriber who says, My BFF lives near where the earthquake happened, and we know that was in the Philippines. And uh, she also mentioned Guam, so I'm wondering if he's with the military. He said it's very bad. And uh, he is from Texas and watches your shows. Thanks. And if a Patriot subscriber says Guam is straight west, five hours by air from the Philippines. I have a Patriot subscriber. Uh, the sun has been affecting me. Another one says my suggestion, you know, that uh, the sun does impact us, can definitely impact our moods. I know for me. It's like I wake up and I'm sad, and that's not my personality. So if you check out what's going on with uh, Suspicious Observers, also uh, spaceweather.com, you'll find out, okay, well, we're having some kind of solar impact. And she says, yeah, your suggestion for coffee and chocolate works. Yeah, coffee and chocolate is great for a lot of things. I have a Patriot subscriber who's talking about my recent program I put out that Medicare was not being accepted by a lot of hospitals. And she clarifies it. Medicare is still accepted. It's the extra Medicare advantage that you buy through insurance companies that a lot of Hospitals are not accepting, and a lot of insurance companies are not selling anymore. And I'd like to say thank you to Deanna C. for your support of my channel. So, let's get started. Okay, I put out that uh, flash update about the U.S. military being deployed secretly. We don't know where they're going. That was from Georgia, from Moody Air Force Base, and they were to tell their families to gather food and water, flashlights, batteries, candles, and, and be prepared to bunker down in your homes. So we see we have the U.S. military deploy. 
We see we have U.S. military families told to bunker down. And now we're having some uh, information about the economy. So this has to do with Evergrande, as this is a Chinese company, uh, real estate. And I had put out before that uh, a few days ago, Evergrande is, uh, I think, the second largest um, real estate holding company in the world, and certainly in China. And China does not have bankruptcy, but the U.S. does. And so it appears that Evergrande is going to enter into um, bankruptcy. And we currently have the bondholders and also loans for many U.S. banks are holding associated with Evergrande an amount of $1 trillion. So the company is, is bankruptcy. If it's dissolved, then these banks and loan holders and bond holders will receive 0 to 5% of their investment. It's long been anticipated that this uh, Evergrande going down would also bring down in the U.S. commercial real estate and uh, also mortgages for individuals, you know, residential. So that's going on. We see a big impact then uh, brought out, and that happened yesterday. So we see for the economy, we so see Evergrande going down. We see U.S. banks associated with $1 trillion of debt. And this all happened yesterday. And also yesterday, gold, and this is on the Kit Co. chart. And this happened uh, December 3rd, Sunday, about 7 p.m. This was a little bit earlier in the day. Uh, this was early on Saturday, actually. So on the chart, we see gold was at $2,040.80, and it went straight up to $2,108.80. And this is coming to me from Hal Turner. So gold is up. We see uh, people leaving bonds and uh, res uh, real estate companies and going into something tangible like gold. We could expect to see an increase maybe in silver. And it looks like a downturn will be coming in real estate. So that's going on. Okay, now we're going to talk about this monkey lab. So we have in, in the U.S., Texas, and right along we have Houston. Here is Brazoria County. Texas, and the monkey lab is to be built in Damon, Texas, and I'll draw you a, li a little map. So it's about 50 miles south of Houston. If you come down Highway 35, you have Alvin, Angleton, you go to West Columbia, here is a crossroad, Highway 36, that goes to Damon. And you also have here the San Bernard River. 
and we have some additional information from other sources. Now, I have from a, yeah, okay, I have this from a Patriot subscriber. So some of the shareholders in the Charles River facility, that's the monkey lab, is JB plus Hunter. I can believe it. Now, uh, about eight months ago, and this is reported by The Guardian, Charles River facility, and also PETA reports it, uh, were charged with bringing in illegal monkeys, and it was 1,000 macaque monkeys from Cambodia that are wild means they were caught in the jungle. Now, legally for a monkey bio lab, the company can only legally buy from a, um, a monkey La, uh, a monkey breeding company. That means that you're buying and forced to buy from a closed population. You have an enclosure, you have monkeys there. Uh, they are constantly reproducing from the same stock. And anytime you have your reproduction occurring from a closed population. You don't have new individuals coming in. The genetic stock uh, goes over time to an increase in genetic mutations, genetic deformities, a general weakening of the species in terms of physical health and mental abilities. This has been well documented in the field of biology for all species, monkeys, as well as humans and other species. So, legally, the monkey uh, lab company, Charles River Facility, could only buy from a monkey breeding uh, company. So, if I was in the business of generating bioweapons in a monkey uh, bio lab, I would definitely be interested in acquiring, even if illegally, a wild monkey population that I know would be stronger in terms of health and would give me a stronger, more lethal bioweapon. Now, what are some bioweapons we're familiar with? Well, there was Corona. That was definitely cooked up in a lab. Other things are Ebola, Marburg, HIV, AIDS. Oh, you didn't know these were bioweapons? Yeah, definitely. Bioweapons have been in use oh, all the way back to World War I when the... Spanish flu was incorporated as a bioweapon into uh, pharma for the arm, for the military. Spanish flu. So this is going on. So now, about eight months ago, this Charles River facility was charged with the uh, DOJ with being involved with bringing in illegally 1,000 macaque monkeys from Cambodia. At the same time, same time frame, eight months ago, we had a shell company come up and buy uh, the land here in, a, in Damon. And I have information from uh, Patriot subscribers. So, 
the Charles River facility, the Shell Company, to buy the land eight months ago when it was charged with illegally bringing in monkeys. And on the same day it was charged, its share prices went down 14% on the stock market. So this Shell Company, Clan Dirt LLC, uh, is located at 211. I'll list this information in the description. But it's located, uh, it's an out branch of the corporate service company located at 211 East 7th Street, Suite 620, Austin, Texas, 78701. And I'll list that for you. Now, I had this from another Patriot subscriber. We have a monkey bio lab in Slidell, Louisiana, and he or she presents this additional information. They always locate the monkey bio lab near a bayou or a river. So we have one right here, San Bernard River. So my thinking is, based on my knowledge of how a lab would operate, is that they use the waterway uh, to dump their waste. In our uh, situation in Brazoria County, Texas, dumping a monkey biolab waste into the San Bernard River has the potential to percolate and infiltrate into local municipal water systems. So that's going on. So that would be one reason they would want to be located close to water. They dump waste into it. Number two, they use the waterway uh, to make secret shipments by boat or by barges. Uh, to either ship secretly something in or something out. And we see the possibility of secretly shipping in illegally, uh, an illegally obtained wild monkey population. So that's going on. So now PETA for the Charles River a secret bio lab in Brazoria County, Texas. They're under investigation, civil, criminal, by the U.S. Department of Justice. They have violated Endangered Species Act, and that was the illegal bringing in of 1,000 macaque monkeys captured from the wild in Cambodia. So that's going on. So the Guardian article. 1,000 monkeys from Cambodia, macaque monkeys, illegally obtained by the Charles River facility located at Houston, Texas. And it's a U.S. company that buys, sells, and tests monkeys. They're under U.S. investigation for wildlife traffic, stealing, and circumventing federal and state and local regulations. Charles River has to prove uh, that it's not involved with bringing in these 1,000 macaque monkeys, and their shares went down 14%. So that's going on. And now we have this. The Charles River facility went public in 1968. This is additional information from Patriot subscribers. And then it was subsequently bought out by Bosch and Loam in 1984. So I'll try to list all this information for you in the description. I have uh, Patriot subscribers who live in this county, and they want some, some dirt on this organization. Yeah, the people in this county are very strongly opposed to having a monkey lab. Oh, and one other thing. Have you seen the movie Outbreak? I, like thousands of other biology teachers, every year would show my students this movie. 
So the movie is Outbreak. It was made like in the 1980s, 90s, something like that. And uh, so I, like thousands of other biology teachers, would show this toward the end of the year when I was reviewing for finals because we wanted our students exposed to certain concepts. Now, I can vouch for what you see in this movie as being true. And it's either showing you events that have already happened or it's showing you a factual basis for what could happen in the future to an average American population exposed to uh, a, a bioweapon such as Ebola. I recommend that you watch it. So that's going on. And now we'll talk about this. Okay. So we have Florida, Texas, Houston, Kingwood. And this area, Colony Ridge area. We have tens of thousands of cartel plus illegals buying parcels of land and oh so this is a development by two harris brothers out of houston their developers oh and over the years to governor abbott they've given one million dollars in donations now they bought this property about 15 years ago and it's about 60 square miles and when did they start selling parcels of land to the cartel and to illegals coming across our southern border well that was 2020 when jb came in full steam ahead get those illegals and the cartel members and the ccp and other groups from around the world who want to do harm to the american people and get them situated in texas and other states according to a uh, duck hagman information there are such locations in 35 states and according to 107, we may have to go to, and other sources, a Red Dawn event. So, keep your powder dry, baby. Yep. So, that's going on. And now we have this. All right. Now we'll cover white, white line. So Joshua Phillip with Crossroads is bringing out some information, and I'm familiar with different parts of this story based on my knowledge of uh, of biology and also you know we you can always ask god different things he knows everything and that's what i was getting was like uh, uh, you know i asked the lord what's going on with this white lung supposed pandemic and what I was led to do was look up the history of this is actually a form. It's uh, mycoplasma pneumonia. And in children, a common tr name is walking pneumonia. And I was familiar with this uh, from uh, my children growing up who both uh, had and uh, they um, they were little boys about i don't know six or seven and going to summer uh, bible school vacation bible school and they both came down with this and i'm like is pneumonia contagious this form is slightly contagious now the good news is it's 
caused by a bacteria. So it means it can be treated with antibiotics. So I, what, what I got from God was just look up the charts and, and see what is the, is there an increase? Okay, so I did that. And what we're seeing is not a pandemic. It appears the mainstream media is trying to hype this for some reason. And it's a normal seasonal uptick for, and this is what, December? So definitely for flu and pneumonia in children. And as I said, uh, this uh, walking pneumonia, this white lung pneumonia, is slightly contagious, especially among children. Because, you know, they put their hand to their mouth and put it on the surface, and, that, and they're enclosed in a classroom. So they're using common surface areas. So, no, I, I see nothing to be uh, upset about or concerned about. I see it as a normal seasonal uptick for a type of uh, pneumonia that's commonly seen in uh, populations where they have close contact, especially children. So that's going on. Now we have this, January. Okay, so the sources are we're still on track uh, for Nasara to come in and see an uptick in our Social Security and SSI disability. Now, I had a question from uh, uh, a Patriot subscriber when I was adding veterans pay. I was talking about vets uh, who were getting disability. But I would also reasonably look forward to seeing an uptick in the U.S. military's uh, pay grades it just is um reasonable and i see president trump as being someone who would be interested in doing what's right by the great u.s military that we have in place and now a short prayer uh, as uh, we come before you father with humble and grateful hearts and ask that you protect and guide and watch over our U.S. military as they are serving the people of this nation, inside our nation, and, and around the world. And we pray for peace and brotherhood in America and around the world during this Christmas celebration month of December 2023. And we say thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there, continue to pray. God is in charge, and He is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.